evening. Welcome to the St. Michael Spiritual Hour, where we believe in a positive spiritual attitude for positive spiritual attainment. Seven. Go to drmichaelochapman.com for more information or call us at 708-752-0895. 708-752-0895. The purpose of this program is to lift people up. As we lift up the name of Jesus, we want to share positive energy and stories with you to help you think, meditate. And spiritually make it, this is your time. I know you know this by heart, but with me, we believe as is half full, it is not half empty. We believe in uh, looking at things positively and not negatively. You can turn the spin around that thing. Every doom and gloom is not in our aura. It's not. It's not in our surroundings. Um, success, victory, is in our, in our surroundings. So we send that out to you today. Love, peace, joy, happiness. We want you to feel that on today. No matter what you're going through, God has an answer for that. And I'm going to give you a, a scripture to help you make it through on today. Okay, so you can do this scripture on your own. You may know it. Some people know, what's my favorite scripture? Well, utilize it. Utilize it. If this is your favorite, utilize it. See what God can do and it's going to do for you on today. You can send me a lot of love, a lot of likes, a, uh, amens, hallelujah, all of that. So we can be on one accord on tonight. All right, God bless and God keep you. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate I appreciate that. Josh Lodge. Hey, I'm fine. Josh Lodge, God bless and God keep you. Uh, I know what you do in your mind is always thinking. Always thinking, so that is a great thing. Keep it thinking, keep it moving, and thank God from where He has brought you. I'm doing fine. I hope you're doing great. Lucretia L. Smith, good morning, Pastor. I hope everything's going well with you. So you nothing but love, peace, and joy on today as well. Now you can get our YouTube, you can get our video on YouTube and Vimeo, and you can watch it, listen to it anytime you want. All right, my, my son said, I listened to it on the way to school, Dad. I had a, a track meet today, and I listened to it on the way to school. Kind of freed me up from my nervousness. And that's what we want you to do as well, okay? God bless and I keep you. Thank you. I'm waving all the way down to Southern Illinois somewhere. Southern Illinois, God bless you down there, the Green family. Continue to do what you do. Thank you for your love that you show to us all of the time. And uh, Dion, God bless and God keep you. And Mr. Crystal, bless and God keep you all. Safe travels for you. It's my prayer for you also on today. So, God is good. Now, don't forget, you have to exercise. You have to eat right. You got to have some control. Master that. You got to eat right. You got to exercise. You got to get up. You got to move. You got to walk. Four blocks, one block, two blocks, around the block. Big uh, big stores, read the Walmart, walk around, uh, leave your money home if you don't want to buy anything, okay? Just walk around. And uh, uh, the malls, uh, go to a safe mall, walk around, window shop, do what you need to do, get some fresh air, and get the blood pumping in your body. That's my prayer for you. Okay, then you meditate. You sit and you ask God to commune with you and your body. You clear all that negative stuff out as you breathe in through your mouth, through your nose, through your nose, and you breathe out through your mouth and get that all out, okay? And you don't have to do it all day, but you can do it for a few minutes, all right? So we want you to be whole, we want you to be ready, we want you to be good, we want you to be happy, we want you to well, we speak a long life for you, and why not? Don't look for stuff negative stuff to happen to you. We're looking for a long life and for things to be just right with you. Okay? That's what we're looking for. For you and you and you and share that with somebody else. Okay? That's ministering. Alright, so we believe that the glass is half full, not half empty. Well, it looks like rain. No, it looks like it just stopped. It looks like it's going to be cloudy. No, it looks like it's just going to be cloudy for a minute. It's going to be sun. It's going to shine in just a few minutes. That's turning down. Well, I got to go take this test. Well, you're going to ace the test. I'm going to pass it. I know I'm going to pass it. Not, I know I'm going to fail it. That's the negativity. I know I'm going to pass this. I know I'm going to get through this. Why? Because God is with me. I'm going to give you a scripture in a few minutes. 
that supports just that, okay? So be happy, rejoice in God, all right? Rejoice in the Lord. He is with you, and I can, man, I can testify on how he has brought me through, how he has lifted me up. Uh, I don't look like what I've been through. Thank glory to God for that. And you got to accent, accent. Uh, accent the positive you do and some people get through and they just say okay I, I had a cold last week but you were down so low that that you know you're gonna get up but don't take that for granted God didn't have to do that for you but he did you gotta thank God you gotta rejoice thank you Lord for waking me up this morning thank you Lord for bringing me through thank you Lord for no pain in this body thank you Lord for my family thank you Lord for uh, Blessing those, blessing those that just found you on today. All these, just, and they just found you on today. That you are the way maker. Don't wait till something happens before you start uh, pray, uh, praying to God to lift you up. Pray for Him all the time, and He will be your keeper. Know who your source is. Know what your source is like. The source of all things. And why do you want? You, there's nothing that you could want. That God doesn't have and he can't release just for you. But you got to act like you know him. You do. You got to act just like you know him. So, before I get to preaching, let's go to our I am's. I am the Lord. That is my name, my glory. Will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Isaiah 42 and 8. Now, here's one you got to kind of remember. Okay. The thief coming not but, but for to steal. One purpose. And kill two purposes and to destroy. That's three. I am come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's John 10 and 10. So, what you here for? I came to bless you. You ever said that before? You ever asked, Who's following me? What's that? Who's that? I can't hear anything. I keep saying, Why are you here for? I'm here to bless you that you may have life abundantly. Okay, it's not the thief. You, we don't surround ourselves with thieves. We don't surround ourselves with people who come to steal, kill, and destroy. That's destruction. Good morning, Trisha Bennett Steele. God bless you and keep your entire family. New spring, new ideas. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, and blessings to you and your family. Wow. Time flies, they grow so, so big and so fast. God is good, but we continue to bless them. If they were blessed when they were babies, they still blessed. You can't erase that, okay? All right, here we go. With our I, I am. I got to calm myself down. None of my wife is here. Slow down. All right. I am great. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am gorgeous. I am a miracle. I am a believer. I am sane. I am healed. <clears throat> I am intelligent. I am victory. Oh, I am awesome. I am energy. I am spirit. I'm speaking that. I'm fearless. I'm productive. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm confident. I am powerful. I am strong. I am free. Now, some of that stuff, you have to really kind of fight through. Depending on who is in your surroundings, you may have to fight that every day, but you shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't. They should come your way. You shouldn't go their way. Well, I'm not saying that today because I don't feel like it. That's negative. All right, God has blessed me, but I don't feel like he's blessing me. That's negative. You got to turn it around. He's blessing me even though I don't even see it. God's working things out for me. Now, you can say that I am victory. I am victorious. I am successful, honest. I am loving. I am sympathetic. I am prayerful. I am that I am. My life is God. God is my life. Now, you, boy, you're one with the spirit, one with the source. Sometimes things look like, you know, you can't, you can't explain it because you want things to be logical and you want to be able to go back to where you can say, this is the source. Now, this is, I could get this. But sometimes you have to believe in miracles. You have to believe that God can do whatever he wants to do, whatever he wants to do for whoever he wants to to bless those that are with him and think like him, those that are uh, put uh, scientific facts, they only last for a few minutes. But you want a miracle. You want people to be healed out of the out of the out of the uh, out of the hospital. You want people to be healed out of the grave of despair. You want a new look on life. 
You don't want to go down and say, well, you know, this is the way life is. You are succumbing to the enemy. The idea is to overcome and say, no matter what's going on, God is great. God is great and God is with me. I may not be able to see it right now, but I know he is with me. He's working things out just for me. Why? Because I'm, I'm, I'm keeping his statutes. I am. I'm keeping his commands. I'm doing it. Commandments. I'm doing it. I'm saying the prayer. I'm meditating. I'm with him. I'm freeing this toxin from my body. He gave me another chance, so I'm not going to ruin this chance by being arrogant and self-centered. Uh-oh. No. No. I am victorious. That's right. I am victorious. Nobody can touch me. Now, how do you know how do you know that you're being victorious? Because people have dug graves for you. They set traps for you. Yet you still making it through. You can't explain it. How the trap didn't work. But he's saving you. That's, a, that's miraculous. That's being delivered. From the enemy. That's deliverance, okay? Had me down so bad, I didn't know what to do. You should have lost your mind. Anybody else may go to lost their mind. But for you, for you, God gave you another chance, another outlook, saved you, kept you from kept you from thinking, kept you from hurting somebody, kept you from uh, stabbing somebody, thank you, kept you from stealing somebody, kept you from cursing somebody out. All those negative things. God has done for you, and you need to thank him. You need to rejoice in it. You do, and I thank him right now. We were, uh, we, we had a, we had a gift shop, and before COVID, you know, people could come in uh, and visit and talk. And this one little uh, young lady came in. She had no, she couldn't have been no more than eighteen, nineteen. She came, glory to God, hallelujah. She could, she couldn't, she it couldn't be no more eighteen and nineteen. She came in the shop. And uh, my wife and I were ministering to her. We were just talking to her. And uh, we were like, whatever, you know, whatever's bothering you, uh, whatever's bothering you, uh, you need to let God handle it. And we speak peace over you. And we didn't know her. But she just stopped in to get a few things, get some candy, get some sweets. You know, sugar, sweets will make you sweet if you eat sweet, right? So um, we gave her some candy. She brought her candy. And she was so disturbed, she said, I know this girl is sleeping with my boyfriend. I was like, okay. Uh, so, you know, where are you going now? I'm going down to confront. He's like, don't do that right now because you're not in the type of frame of mind that you can talk to somebody or talk to him. And we're like, is he, is he worth all of that? Is he worth going to jail? You're going to confront. It's going to be a fight. And all of that we went through. We said, peace be with you. Calm down. Calm down before you go down. And she said, thank you. And she left. She went right down there where she, to confront. We knew he was going to confront her boyfriend because he's cheating on her and all of that. But she came down a few minutes later. She said, I don't, and she was shaking. Shaking. I don't know if you've ever been through things. When you go through something, your body kind of uh, reflects what you're going through. And if you're shaking, you know you're resisting, right? You're resisting, and your body's shaking. You say, my mind wants me to do this, but my body's like this, or my body wants to do this, but my mind says not. So you shake. You shake, and it, you're resisting. So she came down, and she was resisting. And she was shaking. She said, oh, my God. I'm like, what's the matter? What happened? So she said, I went in the kitchen to confront this girl with about my boyfriend. And he was there, too. And she said, I looked over on the kitchen table, and there was a, we used to call it butchie knife. It's a butcher knife. We used to call it butchie knife. There's a butchie knife on the table. And y'all don't look at me like I'm crazy. I know y'all heard that before. So uh, she said, it's a butcher knife on the table. She said, okay. She said, I need to grab this butcher knife and stab both of them. And she said, before I knew it, before I could do it, I just stopped. I just stopped. I just stopped, looked at both of them, began to cry, and ran out of the house. And she said, I'm down here. I just want to come down here to thank you for giving me that before I went down there. Because I think that stopped me.
from killing both of them. Now, you say, well, how does that work? Nobody guided her to our shop. She just came in. All right, that's God. All right, and nobody, uh, nobody told her to go down and kill somebody. We didn't do that. We ministered to her. Whatever was going through your mind, God, you cover her. God, don't do this, sister. Don't you do this? It's not worth it. So those words were implanted in her. You say, well, okay. Now ministers, you have to do what God tells you to do. We could have just ignored it. Said that you know how people say that's not my business. Uh, yes, it is. It's your business. It's your business to save somebody else. And glory to God. She's 18, 17. We found out more information about her because you know we have to continue. She would have lost her life, her boyfriend's life, and the girl's life all in a matter of minutes. But God is good. That's a miracle. When you can't explain how that happened, that's God working in you. So I'm saying, allow God to work in you. I know you've been in some situations too. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. So sometimes you are blinded. Because if you were in the scientific or the flesh, you would have done something crazy. But God keeps you blinded. You say, I don't know why I didn't move. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. But God is saving you for something else. Hallelujah. He's saving you for something greater. Don't think that you just uh, in the garage for nothing. No, he has put you away. He has shielded you because somebody prayed. And he's saving you for something else. Now, those who are delivered. From the hospital, those who have been delivered from jail, those who have been delivered from court, those who have been delivered from schools or, or torture or abuse, lost and found again. God is with you, covering you, covering you, covering you. Why? Because you are his child. You And, and you say, well, I don't know nothing about God. I don't do all. That's religion. We're talking about spirituality, being one with the master. Raise your thoughts up just a little bit, okay? Because those that go to church, that's good. That's great. That's great. But if you go and still come out with the same old negative attitude, it's not helping you. If you go in looking for something great and you're helping somebody else, God honors that. God honors that and giving him the glory. And when we read the scripture, we're in Philippians uh, 4. Philippians 4. Today, all right, and we're gonna read the scripture in just a minute. <clears throat> I hear my wife telling me, "You gotta pray. You haven't prayed yet." And I haven't prayed. And I haven't went to the uh, prayer list, but I'm gonna pray. I'm just gonna say the uh, okay. I'm gonna pray. Father, we come to say thank you. We thank you for your many blessings right now, for saving us and keeping us and delivering us from the hands of the enemy, the thief that comes at night, the keeps the thief that comes to steal and destroy. Keep us wrapped up in our families. Keep our minds right, right now, Father. Keep us in our right minds. She said, "We don't, we don't do things that are not like you." Bless our families. Bless everyone at the sound of my voice. Bless every pastor, every minister, every healer, every prophet, everyone that's working on your program right now, Father. Continue to bless them is our prayer. We speak strength in this month. We speak strength and joy in this month, Father. Mm, right now, keep us and our families is our prayer. Those that are, 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 are addic addicted and can't get off, feel like they can't get up, Father, free them is our prayer. Those that want help and don't know how to ask, Father, Free their tongue that they were asking, go to the right place, is our prayer. Mm, keep them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I did the prayer. All right, so uh, I need to get to the scripture. Well, I do. I feel that right now. Good morning, Pastor King, Sandra King. Bless you, your family, your uh, grandchildren. Who are growing like, I'm not saying, growing like a, a rose bush. How's that? Not like me, growing like a rose bush. God bless you. I miss your energy. But I know God is still good keeping you. It is my prayer for you. All right, so uh, on my prayer list, I'm going to go with uh, Minister Sandra King, Pastor Sandra King. 
Trisha uh, Bennett Steele and family, uh, John Slash, uh, uh, Reverend Lucretia Smith II, God bless you, uh, and Mabel Chapman, Leona Chapman, Quincy Chapman, Mabel, boy, she got her stuff going. Um, Brian Craig, um, I got a list here. Okay, Mother Neil, bless Keep you, Reverend Riley, Mrs. Riley, blessing God, keep you, Rudy, of Billy Brooks, Austin. Thank you, Billy Brooks, Austin, for your energy and your donations as well. Reverend Gray, blessing God, keep you, Stacy, uh, Center of Hope Ministries, uh, the Green family again down in Cairo. My brother, uh, Prophet Green, bless him, keep him and his entire family. Uh, Reverend Charlotte, Emily, and Jarrell. Um, those in Kankakee, bless them. Pete, haven't heard from you, the mayor of Kankakee. Dan Norman, and God bless the guy. Keep you, strengthen you, is my prayer. Your entire family all over the country, continue to bless them. I'm praying for them, amen, that they come under the covenant of the master. That's my prayer, and that you be completely healed and prosperous. That's my prayer for you, Dan Norman. God bless the guy. Keep you. I got she, hold on a second, because people are like, you didn't say my name. All right, uh, Randy, God bless you, Reverend Norris. Uh, Betty in Virginia, blessing God keep you, Betty. Thank you uh, for sending us your love, Jenny and Jordan, and Denise out in the South Suburbs. Um, the Cade family, uh, Reverend Francine Lee, the Palence family, uh, Donna Reed, God bless you, God keep you, lift you up. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, El Shaddai Miracle Temple, Aisha Green, Thomas, uh, Thomas. you know, uh, uh, Minister Pastor uh, Sandra King, um, you, you're the, the oldest grandson, I'm blessing him on today, that he may be rich and uh, secure, steadfast, unmovable, all of those things in the Lord, the oldest, I think he's the oldest one. But bless him is my prayer. He comes up as your name comes up on the screen. So bless him in school and his job and his career, all that he wants to be and do. God has covered him. And God bless and God keep him is my prayer. Aries and Porter, Aries Porter, God bless you. MJ and Giovanni, haven't heard from you in a while. Reverend Shelley Hayton and your sister. And all those that uh, else that Miracle Temple, I think it's a birthday coming up. We bless and keep you and strengthen you. We, we speak um, success. Reverend Gray, God bless and God keep you. And those in Kansas City, Missouri, send love as well. Send you nothing but love from Kansas City, Missouri. Walk in the light. Say, see your Sims, and we love you. All right, so if you want to be on our prayer list, 708-299-0621 or 752-708-752-0899. Five. All right. So I'm going to um, you can text a message, whatever you want to do to get you on your prayer list. It means nothing. It takes nothing but energy. This is a little time um, for us to pray for you. We don't have to know you. We don't have to know what you're going through. But we pray for you. That takes nothing away from us because somebody's going to pray for us. So it's not about, well, you shouldn't be praying for, no, we pray for everybody that needs prayer. And the worst, you should pray for your enemies as well. That means everybody. That means everybody that you know, whether you know them or not. Have you ever been in a store or you ever been on the street and, and you see somebody, you used to say, hey, you don't have to say anything in your mouth, but in your brain, you should say, Lord, bless them, keep them, whatever they're going through, deliver them so they can be close to you. Now that's a prayer. Takes nothing but about 20 seconds. That's a prayer, okay? Where your environment, if you're in schools, you better be praying for these kids in the school. Don't just walk by and say, oh my God, that's negative. You say, Lord, bless them. They go through stuff too. They don't tell you. They don't tell you because sometimes they're embarrassed. They're not going to tell you everything. Don't expect that. And you think they tell you everything. Those are the ones that have, have secrets. So you need to pray, Lord, deliver them. Keep them. First year in college, I'm, I'm talking about, it's going to go by fast, Pastor King. I'm telling you, it's going to go by fast. He's going to be all right. Just can, 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 can continue to encourage him to read the word and stay in the word. Read the word 
and stay in the word. And you're going to be surprised. My prayer is that we all live to see uh, the success of our children and our grandchildren. We do. That's the prayer, okay? So, God bless. He's going to be fantastic uh, men of God. All right. So, let's go to the fourth chapter of Philippians. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta thank I gotta thank Tracy for sending me that cough. Uh, sir, God bless and God keep you. So I'm reading from the English Standard Version of the Bible. Okay, therefore my brother in the fourth chapter the first, therefore my brothers whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm, thus in the Lord, my beloved. All right, so what does that mean, stand firm? Don't sway. Don't give up. In one time, out the next, up, sometimes down the next. Stand firm. Stand firm. Okay, stand firm like a rose, I mean like a tree. Stand firm. Even when the winds blow and the tree just sway, but guess what? After a while, it still stands. All right, so be that way. Stand firm. All right, therefore, my brothers, trust. Thus in the Lord, my beloved. All right, let's go. I want to go down to the fourth verse. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. Uh oh, that's like a command. Rejoice in the Lord always. Well, well, when you say, well, somebody asks you how you doing, God is, God is great. God is great. He's working things out for me. Not. Okay, 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 I'm all right, I'm fine, I'm all right. No, no, no. It doesn't look like you connected at all. So rejoice in the Lord always. Well, things are messed up. Yeah, but God is still good. He's working things out as we speak. Now, that's a response. Okay, God is fantastic. Rejoice in the Lord always. Well, what about, man, this, you know, they, why did they do that? I don't know, but I'm thanking God right now because he's going to deliver me from all of this stuff and bless them. That had the nerve to do that to a man or woman of God. Now that's that's turning that around. Okay, rejoice in the Lord always. But man, did it have to happen that way? I guess it did because God allowed it. Okay, again I will say rejoice. Man, rejoice twice. Rejoice and again rejoice. Don't get so down that you can't rejoice in the master. You cannot. If man, he will tell you, well, why am I going through? So much stuff when I had COVID. I mean, I was messed up. Uh, we'll talk about that some other time later. But I was messed up. And I'm like, man, why am I going through this, God? I was, and that's pretty low when you start asking God. And he's like, well, how are you going to help people if you haven't been through? And I was like, whoa, how are you going to go get them if you don't know where to go? I was like, oh, okay. So even in that, even in that state of mind, I rejoice and I to thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. I rejoice in you because you are the master of all things. Now, you start turning that around. You can feel sorry for yourself and they wait for you to give up. If you don't believe me, try it. You start, asking, you start talking like there's nothing else for me to do in this world. I've done everything I could and now I'm not getting nothing from God. I am done. When you say I am, when you connect done with it, guess what? You connect it with the source and you say I am done. Oh no, I am not done. I am here for the master. I am. And I rejoice in God. Thank you. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. Everyone. Well, why are you so happy? God is good. He delivered me. Why are you so why are you uh having a good day today? I have a good day every day. Despite what's going on, God is still good. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your let your request be made known to God. Thank Him first. Thanksgiving. Thank Him first. Father, thank you. Waking me up. Deliver me. Give me a sound, man. Give me a message. Give me a... Uh, strength, blessing everything that, that, that I touch. Bless God, thank you for all of that. Now, sure you can ask the master for what you want. He is the master. He is the source of all things. Now, Lord, you know what I need, but I'm voicing it 
I'm voicing it, Father, for my benefit, so I could be uh, clear on what I want, what I need. In my brain, I'm thinking, my brain's going uh, so fast, it all gets messed up. Okay, I'm thinking, so for example, I don't like to talk about material stuff, but let's say um, you, want a, uh, you want a car. You just can't say, I want a car in your brain. Voice it, the color, the size, all of that. I want a house. You got to speak it. I want a job. I want a, a windfall. I, I need uh, finances. That's not good enough. How much? You got to tell God what you need. That's what it says. But first you got to thank him, okay? And then prayer. What's the prayer for? You have to go to a place where you and the master meet. Don't tell me you don't know where it is because you felt, anytime you go into a place where the master is, you're going to feel something. You're going to feel something, okay? You're going to quiver. Your, your, your voice is going to change. Something in the side of you is going to develop and you're going to feel something. That's where you meet the master. Your auras are all going to sh shine brightly, turn purple. Yeah, and your, your Face is going to shine. That's how you know with you're with the master. Okay, and then your chakras all open up. Okay, so then you know you're in a place, hey, with the Holy One. That's where you want to get to. If you haven't gotten to that place, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you to find it, to look for it. Look for the place. Put everybody out. That disturbs you. Get your music. No matter what kind of music it is, just get your music and go there. Okay? And go there. Sing your song. For those who can sing voices, sing your song. Okay? Whatever you do, you knit, cook, wherever it takes for you to get there. Now, some people, it takes them a whole lot of different ways to get there. But get there. Get there. I'm encouraging you to get up. Get moving and get there to the spot. Well, I got to wait for Sunday. For what? You might not. People die between Thursday and Sunday. So you got to get on it. Okay, things can happen between Thursday and Sunday. Get on it right now. Don't wait that long. All right, where was I? So I'm encouraging you on today. I am. Get with the master, all right? Prayer, meditation, supplication, thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. What does that mean? You can't figure it out. This is miracle stuff we're talking about today. Healing stuff is miracle stuff. Where the doctors are po poking, probing, guessing with your body. All right. Then you ask God to heal me completely. All right. And he does that. That's past man's understanding. And you don't believe me? Ask the doctors how that happened. And they're going to say, I don't know. I don't know, how it's going. I don't know how it happened. Or, well, why am I feeling we can't find anything? That's how you know that God is at work. People don't look for that, that negative stuff. Don't look for the scientific uh, excuse, no, or reason. No, no. Past all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Well, there's some stuff that's beyond your thinking. You don't know it all. You don't know it all. And if you do think you know it all, you're at the beginning of the end. So, you don't know it all. So, it guards, the little prayers guard my mind as well as my body. Because for a thinker, you can overthink. And for those who don't think, you're not thinking at all. You're just sitting every day. There was one lady who says, uh, I was talking to her, and she was like, I go to church, and I just, I said, what do you do? She said, I go to church and sit down in, in my seat and listen to the pastor. I said, then what do you do? She said, I get up and I go home. I said, so what have you done? What did he talk about? Why really? I, I, I'm enjoying while I'm sitting there, but when I leave, I can't really kind of remember what he or she was saying. And I'm like, so what are you doing? You're doing a ritual. You're just going and sitting. You're not being active. 
So what about your hands? What's wrong, man? There he there's healing in your hands. Oh, there is? No one's ever told me that, but I know I get funny feelings and stuff like that. I know something's not quite right. I know I need to do more. Then do it. Get up. Going to church is fine. But wherever you are, be active in the Lord. And then rejoice in it, alright? And ask him to cover your mind, your body, your hands, your gift, all those things that the enemy comes to steal and destroy. And once you out of work, once you out of work, victory is to the enemy. Victory is to the enemy. Because you're just going to church, sitting in a chair, and not doing anything. It's like going to the movie and watch the same movie over and over again. Well, what happened at the movie? You come out, what happened in the movie? I don't know. I can't remember. You, Your body was there, but your mind wasn't there. So I'm going to encourage you to get all that together. And it says right there, rejoice and, and, and be one in Christ Jesus. Because I'm paraphrasing. So please don't send me emails about you don't know the word. I'm reading it right here for you. Okay? All right. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Why should I have peace? And how can I possibly have peace with all this stuff going on? You got stuff, some stuff. Only focus on the stuff that you have control over. You have no control over the war. You have no control over Putin. You have no control over that stuff. Nor would you want to spend your energy burning yourself up trying to figure that out. All right, you want the peace of God, the peace that he's able to do. You don't believe it? We talked about just talked about the young lady. When something came over her, she decided, I can't do this. I'm not going to do this. The peace of God comes over. Pray in your surroundings for the peace of God. Pray. When you want to, and sometimes, boy, it makes a preacher want to curse. Make a preacher want to hurt somebody when they're not doing what, people not doing what they want to do, supposed to do. And you be like, man, okay, I'm you going into flesh then, but you want the peace of God to be all over you. That's my prayer for you. That's my prayer. <coughs> so, <coughs> so today, tonight, this morning, wherever you are in the world, we send you nothing but love. And I got some powerful people on the program. And I'm asking them to send their love and their energy out to people who need it. Out to people who need it. Pastors, ministers, healers. To people who need it. And I declare it will come right back to you. So, uh, Aisha, God bless and God keep and strengthen you. Uh, Owen, bless and God keep and strengthen you. Uh, Cephas, Tony, all those who listen in a portion, blessing God, keep and strengthen you is my prayer. Those who come on, send energy and help somebody else is my prayer. God bless and God, keep and strengthen you for now and forever. Now and forever. Uh, uh, we'll see the Kerber, the Kerber family, blessing God, keep and strengthen you as well. God bless you. I'll see you. Next time.